Oh, this is a real humdinger of a case, isn't it? Oh, it seems like they really did it. What? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, now who brought in the piss, constable? One more time. Uh, I, I couldn't help but notice this case involved my favourite bodily fluid. Oh, don't you say it out loud. It involved my favourite bodily fluid, the alcohol. Piss. I'm the piss detective. Okay, well, that oh, makes no. sense as to why you are called Piss Constable. And again, you are piss not constable. actually... You did not go through police training, and no one likes you. Uh, and you smell not of piss, but of a very strong potpourri, which is also offensive. Segment complete. That's a segment complete, everyone. Right, so what I was thinking is... Oh, fuck, I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. And that was Piss Constable Origins. That, w that was uh, the Piss Constable prequel. Yeah. Um, piss, piss Constable Zero, mm -hmm. we call it. Um, Fates. Piss Constable Miami. Oh, okay, shit. <clears throat> All, right. All right, here so, we go. So uh, somebody got redistricted. Okay, but here yeah. it goes. <laughs> Man, seems like this sailor is f fresh out of luck. Hello, hello, hello. The newbie's back on the case again. <laughs> Listen, I the don't, I don't look at me in the fucking eye. I don't appreciate your fucking tone. I've been working these streets since you were shitting in diapers. I'm <laughs> you, you, <a> captain. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. The uniforms are different over here. Anyway, yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I wear I'm, the. This is the captain's like f floral shirt. Yeah. You don't get a floral shirt until you become the captain. No, well, I have to apologize then because I am the piss How constable. How hot are you, dude? You're wearing like a fucking black suit and a one of those bobby hats. Well, to tell you the truth, the suit is to hide the piss. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're a joker. I used to make piss jokes when I started. Well, I, I, I intend to continue to. I, I'm young and I'm idealistic. I'm only 80 years old. <laughs> and I'll be making piss jokes <laughs> for, 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 for the whole program, because that's what it's about. It's, no. it's called Piss Constable, and it's on the television right now. <laughs> this is... this is. Um, hi, I'm Patrick Gill. I play Piss Constable on the BBC original program, Piss Constable. <laughs> Who are you talking to? We're at a murder scene. Who are you speaking to? Excuse me, d who put this guy on the team? Who- <laughs> he keeps coming up to me and talking about being a piss constable. I'm fairly certain he's from Talladega and he speaks with a terrible Cockney accent. Can someone explain to me who put him in our precinct? The time slot after Piss Constable. Well, I'm glad that you brought that up because I'm positive it would just be a show called After Piss Constable where we discuss <laughs> the stuff that happened on that episode of Piss Constable. I think like you're right. So it would, like, <clears throat> it would show lights would go down, mm -hmm. fade to black, credits, yeah. and uh, fade up. D.B. Weiss, showrunner of Piss yeah. Constable UK, comes mm -hmm. up and he's like, so for the scene where we had uh, Piss Constable... Um, piss himself during the, the police chase. Mm -hmm. uh, we needed to really get across the point that he wasn't pissing himself out of fear, but he was doing it to sort of focus himself. So that's mm -hmm. why we add the line uh, before he started pissing where he calmly says, uh, hold on, mate, here comes the piss. Um, and it's uh, not just a branding reason that we do that, because we do that a lot. Um, and, and we try to put that in every every show just kind of as a callback, um, mm -hmm. because I think that's an important uh, element of storytelling. Yeah. Um, and then we cut to the then we cut to the Chris Hardwick segment where yeah. like he has his panel of guests. Mm -hmm. on, and and like, you are, you're here. You're uh, it's me. I'm Chris Hardwick. Okay, and great, then yeah. it's, uh, and I, I'm a professional <laughs> wrestler and MMA fighter CM Punk. <laughs> Wow, what a what an incredible show, uh, Piss Constable. I was amazed at your character. Um, you gotta, I mean, just tell me what that motivation was. Yeah, so uh, they, they 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 brought me in to play, uh, you know, uh, the the sort of villain of this week. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, Piss Constable, what's the show about? Am mm -hmm. I gonna get pissed on? Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, is, is he mad because somebody pissed on him? Yeah. So I sat down with D.B. Weiss and he laid out the whole plan for me. He, yeah. he said, like, no, it's he's a constable who who who, who just pisses whenever mm -hmm. he wants to. Yeah. And he, like, I think that idea of morality in, the, in this modern age where sort of you've got uh, you've got, uh, you know, surveillance, you've yeah. got you've got um, you've got oppressive governments mm -hmm. and just this this idea of this character who you know like yes he is a lawman but he makes his own laws yeah. i think was really cool and my character um uh uh the turd burglar mm -hmm. uh i think it's just a beautiful mirroring yeah. of of the, the character the piss constable and i'm excited to play him for the rest of season uh season 25 yeah no i understand um now did when db weiss did explain to you that you wouldn't be pissed on was that that was kind of i heard it was almost a deal breaker for you that you were looking to be pissed on and that the fact that you weren't that was going to maybe make things a little bit difficult yeah well when i uh when i went in there and i, I talked to db weiss uh showrunner of piss constable mm -hmm. here on hbo bbc uh i was like you know uh he, he was like he's like no we're gonna keep it clean we run a tight ship we run a dry ship here mm -hmm. and i said well like if a bit if if piss constable were to piss on the inside of his corduroys and a bit of it were to leak through onto me yeah or if you know if he were to uh be <laughs> <laughs> no, let me let me. I know it's it's hard. Sure. It's hard. You can cry if you need to. Yeah. Um, but I I have that quote here. Is that uh, if a bit of the piss were to get onto me, uh, that that's really what would make the character. Um, and I know that it's it's a heartfelt emotion for you. Yeah. Um, so I. Uh, yeah, it's, no, just let it out. Like, it's yeah. okay. It's, no, it's just an honor. to. Be, I've been watching Piss Constable since I was, what, 13 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the fact that they've kept the show fresh this long. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just the, the show got me through a lot of hard times. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, me too. It's just that, you know, in season four, when the piss constable says, I'm going to piss now. And he said it at the exactly the right time for me, because I think I had been waiting to hear those words. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Piss constable on, on, uh, it's, 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 I, think, I, think, I think it's time for after after piss constable yeah. now um where i become the host <laughs> yeah and i okay. interview you <laughs> okay. so um uh chris hardwick amazing to have you here on yeah. after after piss constable no, thank you so much um my question for you is how do you feel last you know last show's interview when the show that we just did mm -hmm. where yeah. you interviewed me and i i talked about my role as the turd burglar on the bbc series piss constable <clears throat> how do you feel that went and do you have any theories for where this could be going in the future well, i was kind of upset because i did have a bit where i was gonna ask you to um freestyle uh and just like d do a couple different songs but uh replace a couple words with piss and we mm -hmm. didn't get to that comedy bit but yeah. i did appreciate the the heartfelt emotions you showed there uh in the last one so thank you for that um um, where do I see the show going? I mean, nowhere but, but up. They say that the first 25 seasons are just, you know, kind of uh, revving those engines. And so yeah. maybe we'll pop it out of neutral next season. Dear God, I hope it does because it has been in neutral for 25 seasons. So, uh, And do you, like, w w do you want to weigh in at all on... So D.B. Weiss, he's been very public about it. He's been very visible mm -hmm. about the fact that he is trying to get out there. He is working with Prince's estate trying to get the rights mm. to uh, the song Kiss yeah, and, uh, and a, a Vocaloid, the, the, a Prince Vocaloid, to, to re-sing it so that the, the, the uh, chorus is... I heard that they were just replacing just the singular word Kiss uh, with Miku saying piss. Yeah. And so... Um, just wants your extra time and your, your but, ding a ling a ling a ling a ling piss. Yeah, but it yeah. was but more like piss because it's a Vocaloid. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think... I mean, he's not her for a reason, so... Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching our, our Piss Constable After After segment Show. Complete. Um, that's a segment complete. Piss Constable joins the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, shit. Okay. So that's all you. Wait, which one of us is Piss Constable? You're Piss Constable. But Benedict Cumberbatch is already in this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's a really good one um, because I have to pretend to be British but doing an American yeah, accent. Yeah, I okay. have to <clears throat> pretend to be bad at doing a British yeah, accent, sure. which I'm definitely not. Um, <clears throat> Well, I've just drawn those signs in the air, and now I... Mm, God, I don't know why my magic isn't working! Who are you? I'm the piss constable, sir. And you 
are under arrest for magical piss crimes. Um, I, you'll have to understand that I don't <clears throat> actually uh, care what you think, because not only am I a brilliant and beautiful neurosurgeon, but I also uh, am actually magical. So, ah, oh, why won't my magic powers work? It's time for me to tell you something. Okay. <laughs> Spit it out, Mr. Piss Constable. Doctor Strange, you are not a wizard. <laughs> uh, uh, but, but that's not possible. I've always been a wizard. I've... Yeah, hard R. Always been a wizard. Oh, you're right. I've yes. always been a wizard. Can't you tell <laughs> that I've always been a wizard? Uh, and that... And then, um... I don't know where to, where to go with this. Like yeah, one of it's us dies, then, none right? Of us, well, yeah, one of us has See, to one die. One of us doesn't like the MCU. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, like no, I I mean In, personally, personally, I don't follow it. I don't so, like, really. I don't, either, I don't have a lot so to work no, with here. Okay, well then let's just like so do a battle where Piss Constable ends up like because what always yeah. happens is like this is the beginning of it, right. and we've talked about how we uh, how you think I've had piss crimes, okay? Yes. And I have no idea what you're talking sure. about, okay? But then at the end we realize that we're on the same time stone that I was using, and I was going back in time to beat yeah. a bad guy, I did have to do a piss crime. Yes. And you knew about that before because yeah. you're so attuned to the piss. Because you did it in London in the 1960s. Exactly. So I went back in time and I did a piss crime at your doorstep which is how you became the piss constable. Okay. All right. So here's. All right. So yeah. now it's it's me and I'm in the time stone and yeah. I just beat the guy and I'm like, <clears throat> wow, I am so happy that I finally beat the blue man. I'm gonna, <laughs> but I gotta take a leak. I, I, I hobble in. I'm gonna let this one slide. Uh, excuse me, S uh, small British man. That's called character growth. I salute you for your piss crimes, and I admit that sometimes you need to piss to catch a criminal. That's what I always. Wait say. a second! Isn't Piss Constable's whole thing that he pisses his pants? Comes from uh, Captain Marceline on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, explaining Piss Constable to your boss in a performance review. Okay. So I'll be Tara. Okay. And it's me that I'm I'm the one yeah, explaining it? Yeah, and it's your performance review. This is your quarterly okay. conversation. Great. Um, so you can play the game, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As is custom, we, this is a gaming company, so we <laughs> like right. to game while we do our performance. It's very true. Okay, so um, first of all... Let's talk about how you feel about how this quarter's gone so far. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I could have. I mean, I mean, I, I've, I've made a lot of things that I've been proud of. Yeah. Um, I, I um, certainly, I think there's always room for growth. Sure. Though. So for for what? Um, so I mean, for for example, give give me what's a, what's like a, a new thing that you're bringing to Polygon here. Um, well, I don't know if you've um caught any of Patton my streams, but we um we. No, done, I don't watch those ever. Uh, yeah. Well. I mean, you're totally in your right to do that. Um, we uh we've started. We we like to um. Uh, well, we've just started a new IP. It's called Piss Constable, and we've got it, and we've, it's we think Piss it's... It's called Piss Constable? Uh, uh, that's the merchandisable name. His name is actu actually, um... Play the Pistifer, game, please, Brian. Pistifer Henry, Con the C Constable Pistifer Henry. Um, but they call him Piss Constable. It's just a joke, um, among his friends. And, uh... I don't think... I want this. Uh, yeah, but you... I, I think you're forgetting, um... The... Uh, well, there, there's a lot of merchandise. Okay, so uh, he, he pisses? Um, well, not... He specifically doesn't piss. Um, he just... But he's called the... He's called the piss constable. Again, you have to kind of get the lore. There's a lot of it to it, but uh, but the people oh, the people who know it are are are. Uh, we've got a very strong fandom behind piss constable, and um, I, I just think that we would be at a loss um, if we, you know, if we didn't... Uh, merchandise him as quickly as possible and potentially reach out to Netflix. I know Vox recently started their their new t television program there um, and I th I think so Brian within the first six months of this job. Yeah, uh, there's a thing called the probationary period Yes, yes, I have heard of that and, and I've the... already packed my things and I'll see you some other time uh, this is by um, the wonderful Nick Blake Nick Blake. Thank um, you so much for your your beautiful work um, and I will uh, pull up I'll try to remember. What's Nick Blake's Twitter handle? Fuck. I can look it up real quick. Thanks. Right now. Um, while, while you're, while you're yeah, I'll, doing I'll, the cold I'll open for me. I'll get some flavor text here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> cold open. Exterior. A London back street. Day. Dawn floods the fetid... <laughs> good word. Fetid. Dawn floods the fetid back streets of old London town with an amber glow. 
A peal of bells marks the hour and the place. Cheapside. Near the bow bells. Bow bells? Five o'clock. An eel salesman. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be the eel okay, salesman. Okay, I'll be the eel salesman. <clears throat> An eel salesman, fresh off the night shift, trundles his old cart home via cobbled streets as he whistles an old song from long ago. The cart bumps and jolts over something heavy in the road. The salesman stops and turns. A body lies there, <gasps> pale, covered in tracks from the cart. Oh, bleeding hell! Uh, he's brown bread! The noise brings out a housewife, hair and curlers. She puts her head out the kitchen window. I'm the housewife. Yeah. Oh! Keep your voice down. Oh, I love getting the bobbies. I will get the bobbies if you keep up this blooming rocket. There's a body. The housewife goes out her back door. Is he dead? Oh, I think so. I just ran him over with my cart. You killed him? <laughs> nah, he was already all milled. But what would have got him? I've got no idea. That's why I said get the bobbies. The housewife goes to the police box and dials. <clears throat> oh no, oh no. Oh, too many hands on the kitchen. Hello, hello. Yes, it's been a murder. London town. What? My name? Housewife, missus. So don't you get any ideas, right? She hangs up. What'd they say? They're sending their best man. Oh, interior, police station, holding cell, day. A robber sits as a police officer paces, trying to break him. Uh, which, uh, as, okay. <clears throat> I told you, I don't know nothing. More pacing. It's getting tense. <sighs> Aren't you going to say nothing? The officer stops right in front of him. A trickle of urine starts to make it... <laughs> the officer stops right in front of him. A trickle of urine starts to make its way down the officer's leg. <laughs> what? What's happening? We see the officer fix the robber with a steely gaze. <laughs> You've soiled your cat and mouses! Now, <laughs> it's now down to his shoes. A proper stream. <laughs> Still, the officer is impassive, except for a twitch in his mustache, which only heightens the gravitas. All right, I admit it. I took the apples. The stream stops. For a moment, the officer's eyebrow raises, and it resumes. <laughs> Fine, fine. And the bears. Just make it stop. He's done. Sergeant Cobbles opens the cell door. I'm this sorry, it's going to be yeah. uh, that's, that's me again, right? <clears throat> Constable! Our moist officer, Constable Piss, turns to face him. Sergeant, he's ready to talk. <laughs> Good. I've got a fresh case for you. Why is it? <sighs> Murder in Cheapside. Constable Piss leaves the cell. Interior, police station, corridor, day. The sergeant and the constable walk and talk. Plus a change. <sighs> it's fancy talk like that what uh, alienates you from the common blokes on the force, Constable Piss. That's so, sir. Well, that and the piss. Constable Piss puts his helmet on and walks out the front entrance. No, it... Cold open ends. <laughs>